Hey, in this video, we're going to take a look at eLink and actually set up a newsletter on the fly in the video. And you'll see, I was actually pleasantly surprised with how easy it was and all the power that was baked into this product. So stay tuned. Hey, this is David with TechSmart Boss here with another video. And today I'm going to take a look at this product called eLink elink.io is the website and as you can see here on the right on the banner it's create newsletter and web pages in minutes and and if you listen to our podcast we're always talking about content marketing we're always talking about reusing that content uh, and using it to generate leads into your evergreen posting on social media uh, if you have a lot of content it's great to pull it together in a newsletter and that's what we actually do with the tech smart boss newsletter and i've talked about that in the past you'll see this is our newsletter uh, and if I were to click on one, what we're doing is a combination of taking things like a Twitter post that I've done, a video that we did that week, a podcast that we did that week, and I'm curating a couple of hand-picked articles that I think are best for tech smart bosses. Uh, and we also include a cool tech of the week there. So that's our newsletter concept. And you'll notice that not only will this be emailed to subscribers, but there's a section where they can see all the newsletters and kind of get an indication if they want to. And I see a lot of that with eLink where they're now tying together curated content into a newsletter as well as a web page that you can share as well. They're actually really focusing on that web page and the layouts on that. Pretty affordable. Take a look at the pricing. You can kind of see here they got a free plan, which you know we like. They also have enterprise and school plans, it looks like, but pretty affordable. Very affordable. And I'll let you go through all that as the pricing might change by the time you see this video. Let's go ahead and get started. I've not logged into this product. We're going to do it together from scratch and just see how the flow of the onboarding and the back end is. And I've got a couple of links here that if we get to the point where we create a newsletter, I'll use those. So let me go ahead and put in my email address. Looks like a pretty simple form to get started. Now, you know, I don't like the social logins, but you can use that as well. Let's go ahead and proceed. And it's going to send me a secret code, which, which is nice. So what I'm going to do is pause this, go take a look at my email and get that code. Okay, I'm going to try to remember that before I forget while talking at the same time and I did it while wow, I can multitask all right let's go ahead and put in my name and I'll give it a password and normally I would say read the terms and the privacy policy I'm going to accept it for now in this video and now it's taking me directly into their dashboard with a little onboarding help so one of the things I noticed is that it's has a Chrome plugin so it makes it easy for you to curate content by clicking on that we might take a look at that but let's get more into the dashboard here and th there's what I was talking about that save and collect web links uh, Chrome extension RSS feeder or manually we're gonna do the manual today what I really like about what I saw on their web page is that you can customize your web link so you can change the image put the text you want because a lot of times I've learned when I curate content what comes through the, the the websites don't have their meta descriptions and OG tags and stuff worked out right and um, doesn't look right. And then bundle and share, and, and that's all the different ways you can leverage it. Email, website content, single web pages, social bio links. See, I like that. Reusing content, evergreen purposes, always trying to generate leads. All right, I'm not going to download the Chrome for now because I'm using Firefox, but I'm going to go ahead and start exploring and take a look at what we got. So this is all those methods. RSS feed, I could just pop my website blog feed in here and have those already available for me to select, which is nice. There's the download to Chrome. Uh, let's take a look. I can create a post. I'll come back and do that in a second. I don't have any posts here, so that's that section. Here's my library, and, and I don't have any links here. Let's go ahead and add some links in my library. So I'm going to go ahead and add a podcast coming from SoundCloud. And add that to my library now this is where I believe if I were to automate this using that RSS feed or that Chrome plugin then it would add those in I would just have a library automatically populating let's pick a video I'll pick this last video that I did and let's get the share link for that all right and uh, not now mr. Google all right let's add another link which will be a YouTube video 
in this case. Now notice as I'm adding these links, it's bringing in information, but I, I notice I've got a couple things here. Edit. That's probably a preview. That might be some kind of embed code. Let's take a look. I'm going to edit. And this is what I thought. This is where you can get into the fixing up the description, doing things like that, adding some labels, which is probably similar to tags where you can use to filter. Let's take a look at the preview. So that's actually going to take me back out to that link to verify it. And let's take a look at what this does. And again, oh, wow. So that's like a little uh, div tag uh, gives you an embed code that you can use tied in, I'm sure, to their there's newsletter. Let's add in one more, which is going to be a blog post, just so I have three different types of content. And then we'll come back and we'll uh, start to build a post. All right, so I've got some stuff in my library now. And I don't have any feeds, so I'll just go here. If I did want to add a feed, that's pretty straightforward. And look, they even give you some examples that you can add. In fact, I'll just go ahead and add this one just to see what it does. And look at that, it brings all that in. Now, I'm guessing if I like something in that feed, I can click a couple of them and look at that, build my post out of them. But I'm not going to do that from here yet. I still want to build a post the old-fashioned way, which is to go into post here. One last thing I want to do just before I do that, I want to look in their settings, just see what I can set up. Looks like this is where I can bring in some, some, some logos and tagline for my lose. I'm just going to say this is my tag line. I'm going to put in a couple social feeds here. Let's put in uh, my Facebook Tech Smart Boss because I believe these are going to show up somewhere in this newsletter that we're creating, maybe in the footer or it's going to be used somewhere. So we're going to see this as we do this live. So let me just put in two and um, I won't put a logo for now. I might come back and do that. Let's look at account pretty straightforward integrations I could connect up uh, which is nice and then that subscription which we're on a free trial all right we're there the dashboards populating a little bit more let's create a post this is I think where the magic is done so as I'm creating a post I can start from scratch or choose a template. I'm going to use their templates because they talked about having a really nice amount of templates and they do there's a large list of things here that I can do so look at that so these are, honestly, I'm seeing more than just newsletters here. These are sort of like uh, landing pages or websites pages as well. I'm going to pick one of these newsletters. And I'm going to pick, um, see what I'm going to pick here. I'm just going to click around. I'm going to just click this financial newsletter. Not because I'm doing anything financial, but just to pick something here. Let's use this as a template. And then let's see what this is going to do. I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to have access from this template to pull from my library. And, and, and actually, this does have like a landing page type feel because I can click. It appears I can probably edit text there. But let's bring in my links. I'm going to import from the link library. I'm going to bring in these three links. That's pretty intuitive. I've got them there. Oh, wow. And it just popped them right there in those spots. See that? And it, I, I've got a newsletter. Now, this is an example of where I would probably go in to this guy here and take out a whole bunch of this description. So that's where that becomes so useful. And now that newsletter looks much better. Uh, let's see what else I can do. I can change my header image. I can change that text that you're seeing. I'm not going to change any, but now, but this is just your typical what you see. I can include my profile. That's where I can put that logo. Those are those social links I told you about in the tagline. So this, hey, this this is nice. I could change it on the fly. So even though I picked that newsletter template, I've got all these layouts built around that template. So for example, let's switch to this layout, and there they are. And then let's look in settings on the end here, and I can change my colors. Once I upgrade, that's nice. Um, don't want to upgrade right now. So let's go back on that. Oh, cancel. Uh, so somehow I'm missing the X on this, but you get the intention there. Let's go back. So I'm going to just go ahead and cancel that. So that's one thing you got to be careful of, and I'm sure they'll see this and, and probably fix that a little bit. Let's go ahead and that. And you can see here it took me into that. Let's go back and see. Up, oh, it did get auto saved. 
So let's click back in there. There we go. All right. So we didn't lose anything. So let's go back to settings. And you can kind of see I got the custom customization of this. I can customize my fonts. And there we go again. But there's a lot of power in terms of things I can do. And I'm going to just do that one more time and come back into settings. I do want to look at what else is here. They've got SEO built in, which is great for the web page aspect of it. And you can set your, your public image and all those things uh, on your web page. Now, one thing that I'm missing is the email portion of it. And there it is right there. So when I do have that post, it's in a draft, so it's not ready to go. But I can see my email icon right there that when I am ready to send it, it's ready to go. Let's go ahead and actually see if I can publish this. And there it is. Send the newsletter. I got links that I can put on social media. Put in my evergreen. I can embed it on a website, which is nice. I don't see the concept of CNAME or custom domain, so the embed capability is pretty nice. Now, let's see what, what happens when I send this newsletter because I haven't populated it with any users. I'm assuming it's going to send through. Let's see what it does. Ah, you can connect. I didn't get any of this from the website, so I think this po this product is really nice, but I think their website's not doing them justice at the moment because it looks like I can export this newsletter, this entire template that it's created for me into MailChimp or Gmail or into HTML that I could put into any other mail tool that I want. Um, so this this is a really fast way to create your email and then the advantage of it is you can now send it through the mechanism that you want and you don't have to worry about setting up um, all the secure email security and authentication and things like that within their product they're doing something a little bit different than most newsletter products are doing and i can appreciate that all right check check it out elink.io we did a deep dive on this this is longer than i expected but i, I like this uh, if you like these kind of videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're doing one every other week or so. And check out Tech Smart Boss for everything else that we're doing. And stay tuned for the next video.